So I'm standing in front of the old post office in Washington, D.C. I'm going to tell you a few things about the building and show you why you need to add this to your spots to stop while you're visiting D.C. area. Now, I know there's a lot of things you want to see while you're here. This won't take long, and it's very cool, and it's definitely worth it. So let me tell you a little bit about the building, and then we'll go inside, and I'll show you what's so cool to see. First of all, this was built during the Industrial Revolution. It took them 20 years to build it, and by the time they got done, it was kind of outdated already because they were building it for the post office. By, by the time they got done, it was outdated. So the post office only stayed about 20 years. After that, it turned into some federal offices. They needed a food court. They had a food court inside in a lower level. Other people would come in. The public was able to come in, check out the food court. They ate here. And then after years of that, it was old. They were going to demolish the building. They saved the building. Trump came in. He put millions of dollars in the building, made it a hotel. Since then, he sold, he, he sold that lease out to Hilton. They put the Waldorf Astoria in. Now let me show you what is in this building that you need to come see. There is a way, this is the best part, there is a way you can make your way to the top of the clock tower and get a bird's eye view of the city. And like a lot of things in DC, this is free of charge. And uh, it's very cool. Let's go up there and check it out. Okay, so we're facing a building. We're gonna come around the Franklin statue and we're gonna walk around this right side of the building and make our way down to the side entrance. So as we come down the sidewalk, you see the sign for the hotel and a small sign right here saying the old post office tower entrance. This is looking back to where we just came from. All you do is walk in here and you make your way around these corners through these first set of doors on your left to go through security and up to the elevator. Now we're in the elevator and take a look at those beams. Those beams are over the first floor. They were there so the post office could walk on a clear floor to look down at the employees below to make sure they were sorting the mail properly. Come up and you take a look out from the top of the tower. Now there are just some wires just keeping you inside here. But as we look up, you can see the Capitol building. You can see the FBI building. That's the old FBI building with the archives, National Archives behind it. And then you've got the new FBI building on this side. I'll show you these other sides. Okay, now as we look off this way, we're going to be looking out towards the airport. You can see the Washington Monument. You can see an airplane coming in about to land over at the airport. Smithsonian uh, Castle over here. That's the institution building. And the Museum of Natural History is right next to it. And the National Air and Space Museum is over there to the left. Thomas Jefferson Memorial was also out here. Now as we change sides, we can look over here and see the Washington National Cathedral off in the distance there. You can also see the White House. Washington Monument again over here to our left. Federal Triangle. The uh, African American history and culture. It's kind of right in front of the Washington Monument there, looking at it from this angle. And the Lincoln Monument, right over there. Okay, looking at this side, you can see the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. And that right there is the Armed Forces Retirement Home. That tower is a Hughes Memorial Radio Tower. And just a eye view of, bird's eye view of looking down around Washington, DC. I'll show you real quick just how desolate this can be up here. This is a Friday afternoon and not many people know about this. So you come up here, small area, only five to an elevator. Come up here and get a top view of the city. We're back down here at ground level. And I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe. Remember, we're out here overcoming PTSD, figuring out different ways to deal with PTSD, getting out of our own heads, trying to become better people. Remember, it's not PTSD, it's PTS, and you're going to experience PTG, post-traumatic growth. Check out our channel for more traveling. Check out our channel for more discussions about PTSD, anxiety, stress, depression, all that kind of stuff. Again, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.